from Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. For everyone out there that disagrees, change the channel. You're not worth it. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOMS. 1-800-5800-866. It's Thursday and time for another edition of Like Us 101. Can you attend my class? It is for your own good. I mean, a girl decides how far she's going to let you go in the first five minutes. You in my class? I am today. So how long do I wait to call? A day. Tomorrow. <clears throat> Tomorrow, then a day. Yeah. So two days. Yeah, I guess you could call it that. Definitely. Two days. Two days is like industry standard. Well, how long are you guys going to wait to call your babies? Six, Six days. days. How many times did you call her this week? Twice. Twice? You called her twice? Dan, never call abroad more than once a week. Never, ever, ever. It's like it's one of the ongoing on air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think. I am your professor. This is my classroom. Class is in session. This is where we teach the tenets of Lycus 101. This is a very important course, but I must remind you. And every week some student, uh, you know, just pays no attention and, 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 and participates anyway. Uh, not realizing that we've uh, we've explained what this course is over and over. Rule number one, stop calling here and asking for advice on how to save your marriage. I've been divorced four times. What do I know about saving your marriage? I'm no expert at that. That's another class. I don't believe in marriage. I don't believe in relationships. Let me tell you, as part of my Like Is 101 lecture today, about my session with my therapist. Now, regular listeners and students of this class know that I have been uh, in therapy on and off with the same therapist for the past eight years. And uh, she's fantastic. We, we have a great relationship. And in spending time with her and talking with her about my life, I have learned a lot about myself. And I have figured a lot of things out. And uh, my therapist knows everything. She knows the stuff you don't know. She knows everything about me. The good, the bad, and the ugly. She knows every mistake I've made. She knows the names of all the chicks I have uh, dated for any period of time. She knows when I am being evil with chicks. The stuff that I tell you to do, oh, she knows all about it. She... <laughs> Believe me, we've talked about it a lot. And she knows exactly what's going on. I've had a number of, they call them breakthroughs when you're talking about therapy. I've had a number of breakthroughs in therapy, but none like the one I had today. This is today. I was in therapy today. And I don't understand people who are in therapy and they're afraid people are going to find out about it. What are you, what are you afraid of? It's the best thing I ever did for myself. It's fantastic. I wish the other people in my family would go to therapy. I really do. Because they can use it. <laughs> I would love to see them all go. I'd even go with them, for Christ's sake. But okay, if they're not going, that's not going to stop me. I'm going to go anyway. So uh, my therapist had me kind of look back on relationships of the past, chicks I dated in the past, chicks I banged in the past. And um, as we went over in detail, by the way, she knows all the details, and I'll spare you the details because it would take too long uh, to, to go down that road. But after I went over all of these women that she knows about, she pointed out to me that she said this, she said the following. 
she said that for the most part, the women you have dated are not marriage material. They're not relationship material. But that's not the breakthrough. The breakthrough came when I realized the following. I said, you know what? My parents were married for 40 years till my dad died. They were together when he died. And so I thought that's what I was supposed to do. This is not the breakthrough. I've discussed this on the year before. But clearly I, I thought that that's what I was supposed to do was get married. And I did it because I thought that's what people do. That's what I'm supposed to do. But she pointed out that although I may have believed that, I continued to be involved with women who clearly are not marriage material. They're not marriage material. They're not relationship material. So what I was doing was I was getting married to women who had no business being married to me or anybody. I was uh, getting, uh, getting married to women or getting into relationships with women who just w were not the type that would want to be in a permanent relationship. So even though I said and I believed that I wanted to get married, that getting married was the right thing to do, it's what my parents did, it's what I should do, even though I kept beating myself up for not getting it right, I kept saying, you know what, this time is going to be different. This time I'm going to get it right. The reality is that not only did I continue to choose women who were not marriage or relationship material, I am not marriage or relationship material. So I was doing what I thought everybody wanted me to do, what would make everybody happy, what would make people like me, what would make me appear to be normal and a part of society and what have you. But I kept picking the women that were like me, who were not marriage material, who had no business getting married, who had no business being in long-term relationships. Many of the women I've been involved with in the past never got remarried. I have, you know, four ex-wives, and only one of them got remarried, and that was 20 years after she got divorced from me. The rest of them never, ever got married. Only one of the four ever had children. Uh, several women that I had long-term relationships with never really had a long-term live-in relationship other than the one they had with me. And I really had never noticed this before. Even though I wanted to get married or I was willing to get married or I conceded, okay, fine, I'll get married, the reality is I kept hooking up with women who had no business being in long-term relationships and who, after they were with me, you could not maintain long-term relationships with other people as well. Bottom line, what's the breakthrough? I'm not marriage material. I never was. I never should have gotten married, ever. And neither should you. I had to find out by getting beaten up and four divorces, I had to find out the hard way. Fortunately, I was not paying alimony. I did not pay child support. I never had to give anything up in community property. It's just the threat of that hanging over my head. Why would I ever want that again? Ever. Jesus. <laughs> I walked out of my therapist's office today about 1 o'clock this afternoon, and I felt fantastic. I'm, say I'm saying to myself, that's the answer. <laughs> I mean, I was, I, I, in essence, I knew this all along, but I ignored my gut. I ignored my true feelings. I kept getting involved with women who, in reality, they don't want long-term relationships either. And somehow they would get into them with me, maybe because they had the same problem. Maybe they also thought it was the right thing to do, have a long-term relationship, get married. But uh, it's not right for me. And for the guys who are listening, it's not right for you. Marriage is not your goal. The goal of this class is for you to get laid without wasting your time, your money, and your energy on chicks who don't put out. We believe in the three strikes you're out rule. If a woman does not put out on the first three dates... Forget it. She's done. Kick her ass out of your life. We do not spend more than $40 on a date. Zero is optimum. In fact, what is optimum is getting her to pay for everything. 
If you can, fantastic. We don't uh, ever have sex unwrapped. We wrap it every time. We don't give our sperm away. We don't give our DNA away. We don't have babies. We don't let women live in our apartments or live in our homes. Not even temporarily. In fact, especially not temporarily. Not ever. Remember, it turns your house into the Roach Motel. Roaches come in, but they don't come. Uh, roaches check in, but they don't check out. The Roach Motel. It turns your house into the Roach Motel. When a woman comes into your house, it's it's like the floors are sticky. They will not leave. Gary and Dean saw, the, saw that happen when I had to chicks in my home who literally would not go. You tell them straight out, this isn't working. I can't take this anymore. And they don't leave. The way to solve that problem is not to let them move in in the first place. Don't be an idiot. If you need a roommate, find a same-sex roommate through a roommate finding service. L.A. has got them. Pay the fee. Go do that. You don't want them living in your house. You don't want to have any babies. You don't want to be having any children. You definitely don't want to give or lend them any money. You don't want to marry them for green cards. You want to hit them and quit them. Now, if you have got a problem with the hitting and quitting, if you've got a problem with my technique, if you need help polishing your game, if you're looking to get laid without having any obligation, I am here to help you do that. If you disagree with your professor... You are also welcome to add to the classroom conversation. The telephone number here, 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. And if you are calling from another country, we do have students around the world, but the 800 number will not work if you're calling from another country. So we have a special international number for you. And the number goes like this. The country code is 1. The area code is 323. And the phone number is 520 520- 6211. I'll give you that package again. It's 1 323 520 6211. And we do have openings on the international line right now. If you want to get in, it's like it's 101. Class is in session. Tom Likas. 1 800 5800 Tom. You just want sales? That's, but that's what this is. You see, again, yeah. women can't understand. This is a course telling guys how to get laid. This is not a course telling guys how to fall in love, how to woo somebody. This isn't wooing 101. <laughs> That's not what this is. It's about getting laid. It's Like Is 101 on the Tom Like Is Show. It's Like Is 101. I am your professor. At 1 800 5 800 Tom, that's our telephone number, and uh, we do get a lot of international email for Like Us 101. Anywhere on the planet, call country code 1, area code 323 520 6211. And soon you'll be on the air with the Professor of Poon. This is Jose on the Tom Like Us show. Hello. Hello, Mr. Like Us. Yes. First time listener, first time caller. Thank you for calling. Thank you very much for taking me. You are so polite. <laughs> well, I'm pretty nervous. This is my first time actually talking to a radio personality. Wow. And I figured that you would be the one person that could probably help me. Maybe I am. Okay. Well, let me give you a little history. I was raised by a single mom, and as per the stereotype, I've been taught to treat women with respect and all this other stuff, and I've been doing that for a few years, and honestly, I am tired of it. I'm tired of it. I hardly ever get any action because of it, and quite frankly, I'm done with it. So I figured, So I figured that, well... So she taught you to treat women with respect, and uh, <laughs> you found out how far that's going to get you. Exactly. By the way, let me, yes, I'll have the Pinot, by the way, Gary. A glass of Pinot. <laughs> Gary didn't know which wine I wanted. Um, no, no, here's the deal. Uh, first of all, uh, where's your dad? I have no idea. Oh, that sounds good. You have no idea? What does no, your mom tell, what does your mom tell you about your dad? Let me guess. He's a jerk. 
Uh, actually, from what I know and from what I've seen in the documents, he left my mom to get his papers in the U.S. All right. So does your mom have an opinion about him? No. Not at all. So, you wait a minute, let me understand this. Your mom was in another country? No, my step, my dad, my real father was from another country, and he married my mom to get his papers. After he got what he wanted, he left. I see. Boy, what a what an a hole, what a jerky thing to do. Yes, yes. You, you need to be an a hole just like that. Uh, well, that's why I'm calling you. All You're right. the only person that I think can teach me, so I'm listening. Ears open. All right. Well, first thing you have to do is anything that you would uh, that your instinct would tell you to do, do the opposite. So instead of paying for a movie, don't pay for a movie. Don't pay. Don't even go to a movie. Really? No. What, are you kidding me? Well, I don't know. Here, you, 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 you want to get into her apartment, so here's what you do. You tell her that you're going to rent a movie and you're going to bring a bottle of wine. Okay. Retail cost eight bucks. Wow, okay. Okay. Uh, all you right. get her to sign go. off on that. <laughs> Sounds good so far. Right, you're okay, not going if... out anywhere. Uh-huh. What about the whole bar scene thing? What? Well, to meet chicks or to uh, to date them? Uh, actually, just to get what I want, which in your under your definition would be get laid. Well, you can do that, uh, but well, first of all, where have you been meeting the women who've been rejecting you? Uh, I just by chance, by happenstance. You mean like the bus stop? Where Where are you meeting them? Uh, usually out on the street, just like talking. Like they see me, they come to me, and right? Yeah. And so you uh, let, let let me hear what your game sounds like. What do you say to these chicks? Uh, actually, they talk to me. They talk to you. They talk to me. They think that I'm cute and all this other stuff. And Great. I, look, I look at them bewildered. Why do you look bewildered? Well, because I don't want any conversation. Why would I? Well, first of all, you want to get laid. Do you think really? you're not worth it? Do you think you're not? up to it? You think you are uh, you don't deserve it? Uh, I think the scratches on my back will tell that I am up for it. Well, well, then why are you bewildered? If someone talks to you, you have to, you have to cash that in. Mm, well, true, but... So do you get their phone number when they, when they, when they talk to you on the street? Uh, yeah, I do. All right. And, and so then you call them and what happens? Uh, I call them, they pretty much, we talk, which basically they're talking, I'm just listening, and then afterwards I just try to seal the deal by taking him out on a date. What are they talking about? Um, they're usually trying to get insight on what my interests are. Forget that, who cares? You're not going to know these girls for more than a night. True. Why do you True. care? Don't be having that conversation, you have to cut right to the chase. Okay, and how when, do I do that? When you call a girl on the phone, you ask your point blank, what are you doing on Thursday? Okay. And when, of course, when you finally get her to concede that there's going to be a night that she's not doing anything, tell her you'd like, you had, you got a movie you wanted to see, you got a DVD, you're going to come over with a DVD and a bottle of wine. Okay. Tell her that. Okay. No negotiating, no discussing what your likes and dislikes or her likes and dislikes. But you're going to bore them to tears. Hmm. We're talking about lust here. Okay. All right? Lust okay. means like it, there's something spontaneous about it. Right. Uh, and sitting having a big, long conversation about what your interests are, what her interests are, that's deadly. Hmm. Never, never looked at it that way. Who gives a crap what her interests are? Who cares? Can't deny your logic on that one. You know what your interest is? Getting her clothes off. That's what your interest is. Absolutely. And it, it, stop pretending you have other interests in her or other interests at all. The only reason you're having that conversation is because you want to see her naked. Very true. So you shouldn't be talking about anything other than the ways you're going to make that happen. The time you're going to get together, the place, preferably her place, what you're going to do, a movie is just an excuse. And the reason you want to watch it at her place is because you can't do in a movie theater what you're going to do at her place when the movie is playing. <laughs> Very true. Very true. You're going to, you're going to hit, uh, you know, BevMo or one of these places. You're going to pick yourself up a nice $8 bottle of wine. 
Right. You're going to bring it. She won't know the difference. $8, $80. She won't know the difference. <laughs> uh, you never know. Sometimes when you suggest bringing over a bottle of wine, they suggest that they might make a little something to eat. Wow. And if she, uh, by the way, if she makes something to eat, you're in. Really? Yes. Now, when you get there, do not allow the conversation to go on and on. This is death. The filibuster. The right. lengthy conversations about stuff you don't care about. Okay. Hmm. If, um, if, uh, if, for example, if you are ever having a conversation with her, but in your head you're hearing this, they, they stop it right there. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Have you ever been? Ha have you? Are you ever sitting there? Blah 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 Okay, and what about the whole bar thing? Because I've heard you say that they come to you. How does that work? By by paying no attention to them. So just my just, one of my favorite tactics is to go to a bar uh -huh. and order a drink. Uh -huh. And to pay no attention to the chicks around me at all. To talk to the bartender like I'm meeting a buddy there or something. Okay. And what happens is women are attention whores. The longer they see you standing there without going, oh, you're pretty, what's your son? The longer they see that you're not doing that, now you become a challenge to them. Ah. Okay, I got it. Yeah. I got it. Okay. Is that all I need to know, sir? Well, no, there's many things you need to know, but we can't do all of them here at one time. Of course. Well, this is a great start. All right, now, hang on a second, Jose. Peter, what did you want to say to Jose? Jose? Yes? Jose, listen, man. You got, first of all, you got no game. Second of all, you got no balls. Third of all, oh, I think you're I gay. got him, thank you. I think you're gay. These women look at you, and I think they, they, they have gaydar. And they look at you, and they say they, they want to befriend you right away. Obviously, you said that. You know, they come up and talk to you because they see you as somebody uh, who is um, approachable or non-threatening. you got to get rid of that. Hmm. You really do, man. You have to come off as, the, as this jerk, bad guy, you know, without the friend thing. Got That's it. what you got to do, man. That's what you got to do. And listen to Tom every day. These are not friends we're talking about, okay? They're human toilets. Right. You have to get rid of the friend aura let me, about Let me you. ask you a question, Jose. When you go into the men's room to take a leak, sometimes uh -huh. it's a real relief when you're done. Do you ever, like, get into a conversation with the urinal? Hell no. Do you ever tell how much you love it or Hell no. lather no. on? You ever say, hey, what's it like to be a urinal? What's it like when you, you got a lot of people coming in here all the time? Uh, no. You use it for what it's there for, and then you get the hell out. Blow me up, Tom. There you go. one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. This is, let's see, Fabian on the Tom Liger Show. Hello. Hello, maestro. Hello, Fabian. Are you Fabian or Fabian? Uh, either way. It works. Either way. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Hey, um, hey, uh, Dad, I got a major uh, doubt. All right. Okay. Uh, the area code rule. Yes. I am on. A, I live in the nine in the nine oh nine. Right. And I should I change or no? On, on your cell phone, absolutely. Yes. Oh, you you don't want to be giving chicks a nine oh nine area code. Jesus, man. You know what nine oh nine says? What is it? When you meet somebody in the nine oh nine, what does that tell you about them? Math heads. <laughs> well, that's the thing they got. We uh, the people. Of the you know, when you're taking the when you're taking the Steve Howe Freeway out of Coachella. Well, I don't drive that far. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yes, I know. But I you know. have to drive through the 909 to get back. There. You know what he was doing out there. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, uh, no, no, no. By the way, uh, many cell phone companies. Mm -hmm. I know Sprint uh, is one. I got uh, T-Mobile. You can get you can some of them. You got to check with your provider. Some of them will allow you to have a second phone number. Mm -hmm. 
uh, for no charge. They're just trying to get you to buy more phones and trying to get you to use more minutes and give mm-hmm. your girlfriend a phone. Get yourself a second phone number with a 310 area code. Okay, yeah, I was thinking. I was thinking that. And, and by the way, for our listeners in places like Portland and Dallas and uh, other places, uh, keep in mind that uh, every area has an area code where people don't want to be from. At least not when you try to pick up chicks, because you want chicks to think you are rich, successful, you know, you got, you got it going on. Uh, and it, in Southern California, uh, it, it, 310 is where Beverly Hills is, it's where Malibu is, it's where Bel Air is. 310 is an area code you want to be from. 909 is an area code you don't mind growing up in the 909, but you don't want chicks knowing you live there now. Yeah. So you, you get yourself a second phone with 310. And the other thing that does is it puts all the chicks on another telephone. Mm-hmm. So if you want to shut them down and continue doing business on your regular cell phone, you can. Mm-hmm. Okay. By the way, uh, there's another way to do this even with your landline. Are mm-hmm. you aware of this? No, I don't use landline. Okay. Because for people who need a landline or who have a landline, like there's there's these companies like Vonage. Vonage mm-hmm. is the most well-known. They're called VoIP or the Voice Over Internet Protocol phones. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where you get it's like twenty five bucks a month or whatever, and you mm-hmm. get like unlimited local and long distance calling on there. Mm-hmm. You can choose any area code in the country. Mm-hmm. If you want to tell a chick you're from mm-hmm. New York, or you want to tell a chick you're from Washington D.C., you want to tell a chick you're you're only in town for a night from Miami. Yeah, I'll give you my home number. Here it is, three oh five. You can do that. Well, I, I I'm, I'm I'm from Colombia, so I just don't want to give my Colombia number. No way. No, no. Well, I'm not saying you give your Colombian number, but no, no. <laughs> but uh, no, but like, what if you wanted to tell a chick that you're from Miami, that your 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 house oh, yeah. is on Star Island in Miami? Hey, here, let me give you my number. It's a three oh five. What a scam you could pull. Well, yeah. Pick Indeed. any city in the United States you want to be from. Okay. And you could be from that city. Okay. Except New York, right? <laughs> well, nobody I've, cares. For me, do I really want people knowing that uh, I ride next to Sal and Vinny on the subway? Absolutely yeah. not. Yeah, I know the rule. Nobody cares if you're nobody, from New York. Nobody here cares if you're from New York. Yeah. By the way, it's the first thing everybody from New York will tell you when they come I'm to Southern California. I'm from New York. I used to live there, so uh, yeah, that's why I escaped it. <laughs> you, did you live in New York? Yes. Uh, as a matter of fact. Jackson Heights? No, I live in uh, Queens and... Uh, yeah, Queens, Rigo we're in Queens. Rigo Park. 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 Okay, Rigo Park. And, uh, Same general Street. area. Yep. Yeah, I really escaped from that. <laughs> I'm it's, glad you did. It's an S, an S uh, pit. All right, but don't be, telling, don't be telling girls your phone number starts with 909. That's death. Yeah. Okay, I'm, as soon as I'm done with you, I'm going to call my cell phone company and ask them about it. All right, good. Um, to, another quick question. Um... What about when, well, as soon as you get the kid, uh, the girl, the phone, uh, her phone number. Yeah. And, um, well, you want to call her? I mean, I, I, I wait, I don't know, like a week or so to. Yeah. Oh, you call. definitely wait. Yeah. You don't call her right away. Yeah. I don't call him right away. I don't like to do that. I used to do that and not anymore. Yeah. Because I started listening to you. I just don't do that. I just wait probably like a, like a week or so. At least. Um, oh, yeah. And, and by the way, when you do call her, call her on like a Monday or a Tuesday. Don't call her on Friday or Saturday. Yeah, that's yeah, what I do. Don't worry about what she's doing. The reason you do that is because you want her thinking that you're busy on Friday and Saturday. Oh, yeah, definitely. No, it's the reason. The, the, the thing is... Uh, I just call it. I call them on a on a regular weekday, and uh, and they just don't pick up the phone. And I kind of hate uh, leaving messages or sending text messages. I mean, uh, to me, text messaging is so impersonal. Uh, well, I like it. Uh, I like things as impersonal as they can get. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Are you kidding? Well, these are chicks we're talking about here. Okay, uh, you're right. I bought it. Yeah, we're we're not, we're not looking for romance here. Oh, we're looking to do a little, uh, little offshore drilling. You know what I'm talking dude, about, dude. I, I, I just got out of from a two, uh, two year relationship, and right now I don't want anything now. Uh, to do anything. I, to I love how guys talk mind. about relationships like it's prison. I just got out of a two year relationship. I know, I know, I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, uh, they just left me by the side of the road. I just got out of a two year relationship, and I had to hitch a ride uh, from well, the prison. Well, we just ended up good, so we're kind of be, uh, being friends with benefits, if you, if you know what I mean. You didn't have a kid with her, though, did you? No, 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 no. God help me, no. All right, hang on a second, Fabian. Gary, what did you want to say to Fabian? 
Hey, baby, you got to change an area code right away, man. You got it, man. I'm calling my cell phone company right away. Okay, anything. I mean, you can do 919-714, just about anything out in Southern California except 909. Yeah, I was thinking uh, when I get my cell phone, I, I, was, I was still sticking to my 909 call, but now since I heard the, uh, this new rule, I'm kinda in I was kind of in doubt, so I'm calling my cell phone company right away. Right on, man. The sooner the better. Tom, can you pull right. me up? I certainly can. Yeah. Like 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. You are the voice of reason in this godforsaken world. It's the Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, it's like it's 101. I am your professor. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Sunny on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Dad, how's it going? I'm doing okay, son. Excellent, excellent. Well, this is this is very appropriate. Like this 901. At 101, you can probably teach me something right now. Okay. Well, I just moved out here from Miami, Florida. You said Star Island a second ago, and I laughed yeah. because there's like, there's like 15 people that live on Star Island. But uh, I live in Rancho Cucamonga, which is in the 909. Yeah, but uh, you know what? Most girls don't know Rancho Cucamonga. And by the way... Rancho Cucamonga is a nice suburban community. Uh, don't get me wrong if you like a suburban community, but it's hardly Beverly Hills. Oh, I, 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 I haven't been out to Beverly Hills yet. I've only lived out here for about four months. Well, imagine Star Island, only bigger. <laughs> right. I guess you're right. Yeah, that's probably right. All right. Yeah, you don't want to... Look, I understand that not everybody can afford to live in the 310 area code, okay? Right. I don't even live in the 310 area code. Uh, but, but you're trying to pick up chicks and have sex with them. So, so now, 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 Tom, explain to me, because I don't understand this whole 909 thing. This is the first place I've ever lived where, like, people bash on a certain area code. I've never experienced that Well, let's, take, let's, let's make it a Miami deal, okay? okay. Now, I, haven't li I lived in Miami for a couple of years in the 80s, but it's been a long time since I've lived there or even spent a lot of time there. Um, is there a separate area code for, let's say, Homestead? Um, and that there, area south of Miami? Yeah, there, there is. There is now. Uh, it's a brand new deal. Right. Uh, Would you want to be giving chicks a phone number that had that area code? <laughs> Probably not. Probably That's not. my point. Ah, oh, okay, I got it. I Even got if it. you have to live there, you don't want to be telling that to chicks you're trying to bang. Because they're in it for the money. <laughs> right, so you don't want to say that you live in South Miami or Homestead mm, or no, around the sticks. No, absolutely not. If you are, that makes good sense. I'll tell you what, if you are south if you're south of Cutler Ridge, you're done. <laughs> That's absolutely true. Uh, I believe I lived in Miami, you know I know it. I, I, I used to say that I live in Coral Gables because I went to the University of Miami but I didn't live in Coral Gables and there's really nice areas of Coral Gables and it just sounded good to say it, you know? Yeah, but dude, there's also Red Road and other stuff going That's on there. True. That, you're right, you're absolutely I right. I know Miami That's like right. the back of my hand, let me tell you. For you know, it, it, don't screw around with that. By the way, uh, you're better off using the area code of Boca Raton. Yeah, absolutely. You pa and then you tell your parents have money. <laughs> well, you know, South Beach isn't bad either, man. I mean, if you got a place in South Beach, yeah, but you don't, it. but you don't want to be hit and miss. You know, as I you know. know, South Beach has Collins Avenue, and there are there are you know rundown shacks on Collins Avenue in addition to upscale apartments. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You it's hit. live on Lincoln. I live on Lincoln, right off the fifth. Yeah, but again, you're much better off coming up with an area code. Uh, you know, like up where Rush Limbaugh lives. You know, uh, something up north. Yeah, yeah. So, so and, and when you're and, and when you're here in Southern California, uh, you do not give a chick a phone number with a 909 area code. She won't call you. So I shouldn't tell people that I live in, in Rancho Cucamonga. I, should, I just shouldn't give them a 909 area code. Well, they, why do they need to know where you live? They're not coming to your house. <laughs> That's true. Totally right. You live wherever you say you live. Ah, okay, I got it. Okay, so, <laughs> so being, being new to this area, I mean, which should I say? I mean, I know Pasadena's nice. Uh, yeah, really, but, but, but again, it's an area code that gets lumped in with other undesirable areas. 310 has been narrowed. They, they've cut the area codes down so narrowly now uh, that uh, three, you know, 310 at one time was Long Beach and it was all this other stuff, plus Beverly Hills. Now 310 is is like all the cream, okay? It's Pacific Palisades, it's Malibu, it's Bel Air, it's Beverly Hills. Not a lot of fat in there, a lot of meat. Okay, that sounds good. So, so, yeah, why debate this? 
<laughs> I, I completely agree. Uh, I've heard, I've heard, um, I work for an investment firm, and we have a lot of clients in the 714 area code, and they seem to be pretty... By the way, I mean, think of it this way. Another great way to get a chick that you come to her place instead of you uh, her coming to your place? Uh -huh. You out there, you have a few drinks with her, and then you say, oh, I have to drive all the way back to Beverly Hills. <laughs> Kudos. Well done. Absolutely. And then, and then, and then, and then, and what, by the way, after she's had a few drinks, does she want to drive uh, 60 miles west? Uh -huh. No. Absolutely not. So that's so then you, you that's when you you break the uh, well. Listen, why don't we just get a hotel? You could do that, or you could wait for her to invite you over to her place. There you go. There I mean, you go. You, right. you want to avoid the hotel because it's going to be costly. Okay, got it. Yeah, good point. Good so point. I mean, what you what you want to do is you you, you start getting into a conversation. about, well, where do you live? Do you live near here? Where where do you live? And then like try to uh, try try to uh, filch an invitation out of her. So now, but what if she says, "Well, uh, yeah, I live in Fontana." And uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know Fontana too well, but I've heard nothing but bad things about it. We don't care if she lives in a bad neighborhood. Only if you live in a bad neighborhood. <laughs> okay, all right, right. Well, on. What do we care? Do we care? Do You're we care? Right. She lives You're in not. Fontana. Yeah. Some. By the way, some of the hottest chicks, and I have said this, you know, because I've had women say to me, "You, know, you just ate super most." Some of the hottest chicks I've ever seen work at El Pollo Loco. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because nobody judges a chick by what she does for a living. We judge her by how hot she is. Right, absolutely. Well, hot chicks can be anywhere. That's true. You know, there you are out in Rancho Cucamonga. You roll into that macaroni grill on Friday night. <laughs> Ever been there? <laughs> There's one right on Foothill Avenue. I know exactly where it is. I've been there. And they give you the crayons. You can write down how many glasses of Chianti you've had. <laughs> That's exactly right. They have the uh, the paper cloth tables. Right, and it's the honor system. But believe me, I know it well. <laughs> this is the kind of place where receptionists go. Yeah, yeah they're not going to spend. Women are the cheapest creatures on earth. <laughs> so imagine now you have to put your your story together. What are you doing at the macaroni grill? Well, you live in Beverly Hills, but you had a business meeting in uh, Norco or Corona, right, okay. or Upland. Right. You had a meeting, and uh, so now it, after uh, you were done, a long day's work, you came into the macaroni grill, you have a couple of appetizers, a couple of drinks, and then, uh, of course, uh, at the end of the evening, if she's had too much to drink, you say, uh, oh, my God, i got to drive all the way back to Beverly Hills. Do you, where do you live? Do you live around here? Yeah. And then well wait done. for her to invite you over. Yeah. That's a great idea, man. That's a great play. And the fact is, you live in the area, but she doesn't have to know that. <laughs> That's true. That's true. And the I trick mean, is, has... I'm amazed that these guys go, well, what if she finds out? I live? She's never going to know where you live because you're never going to bring her home. Exactly right. And it's a great excuse when she wants to get up, you know, get together some other time and you don't want to. Oh, and you're, you live far. You know, That's I right. Make it out. You make yeah. her GUD. You know what GUD is, right? No, no, I don't. That's a Southern California term, G-U-D, geographically undesirable. <laughs> so when you're tired of her, that's great. when you're tired of her, of course, you're calling her from three blocks away. When you're tired of her, you say, hey, dude, hey, you know, you're, uh, uh, I'm in Beverly Hills. You're all the way out there in the ass end of, uh, of uh, Southern California. It's like, come on, this isn't going to work. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good stuff. And that way she's not going to stalk you. She's not going to come to your house. She doesn't know where you live. She's got your 310 phone number there. For, for all she knows, man, I mean, I'm 60 miles away. Well, the thing is, you used to be able to know where people live by their area code. You used to know where they live by uh, their zip code. You Between, uh, like, uh, UPS stores and cell phones and VoIP phones, you're now from anywhere you want to be from. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely right. And 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 chicks are after guys with money. Your area code has to be the area code with money. All right, so you know what I'm going to do. My firm has an office in Beverly Hills, and I'm just going to go ahead and ask them to change my cards to that area code. Absolutely, that's where you yeah. want to be from. Yeah, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. You'll pick up a lot more chicks that way. I'm telling you right now. The Tom Likas Show.